Well, like so many of us, I love going to the movie theater to watch the newest, biggest blockbuster on the big screen. Unfortunately, during the pandemic, that just hasn't been a reality. We wanted to check in with one of our local movie theaters, Nexus Cinema Dining, to see what they've been doing during this time and what the plans are for the future. Take a look. Here today at one of my favorite places on the Gulf Coast, this is Nexus Cinema Dining. We're joined by Craig Hall with Nexus. Craig, good to see you. Good to see you, Joe. Thank you for being here. Man, well, we wanted to reach out to you and do this story to check in with y'all, see how things are going. Uh, let's start taking it back before March, though. The Nexus Cinema Dining is kind of a new concept to the Gulf Coast. There was really nothing like it in terms of watching the movie, having food served right to you at the same time. How were things going leading up to March? I Actually, leading up north, they were going great for us so much that we were looking to convert some of our spaces upstairs and adding two more screens. Oh, wow. And this is really good. So this impacted us tremendously. Wow. So, okay, so we know that in March is when the coronavirus pandemic really started to take its toll. What has this time period been like for y'all over these past few months, kind of trip, trying to figure out how to move forward here? Well, yes, it, it's been very tough for us for one reason. We don't control our product. Mm -hmm. We're at the mercy of the studios. So while we could open our doors, I don't have anything really to show you right, right now. That's one of the reasons I'm still closed. Even though the state said we could open, we're still closed right now. We're working with the studios diligently, trying to get some new titles in here, some relevant titles that we can show that our customers will come and will enjoy, and we can still give them the great experience they had in the past. We've met all the CDC guidelines. We're doing everything we need to do to keep your family safe, keep you safe, keep our staff safe. So we're welcoming, we're looking forward to the day we can welcome you back. All right, so we know that even even later on today after this interview here, you're going to have a call with the studio. So like you said, you're kind of at the mercy of when are they going to release these films? When is that going to start rolling out? So that's kind of what you're looking at, right? That's right. Unfortunately, we're at the mercy of the rest of not just the United States, but basically the globe. For example, Mulan with Disney, that is a high, is, it's got a big Chinese theme to it. That's basically what it, they know that most of their money is going to be made in China. Well, all of a sudden now Beijing has had a spike. If they shut down Beijing, it could cost Disney millions if they right. release the movie and nobody can go. So they have, they're at the, the precept right now. They've got to decide, do we go and release it on the 24th? Do we bump it to have better chance for more people to see the movie? California and New York is the two biggest markets for the movie theater business, and those are both highly restricted right now. Yeah. So we're, we're at their mercy. I could show you Jaws. I could show you Back to the Future, but that's not something you're willing to pay what I need you to pay and spend in order to keep this business open so we can in turn show you the feature movies when they're available. And then I'm asking for myself as a movie fan and someone who loves to come here, but for the other movie fans out there too, we're hearing about some of the major movie theater chains maybe looking at bankruptcy or closing. What can you tell us about the future of Nexus as it relates to all Nexus, fortunately, we're in pretty good shape. We were able to get the government PPP money so it helped keep some of the staff on payroll, our, our key people and stuff. We had enough cash that we could maintain our basic expenses. Now it's getting tight. It's been three months with zero revenue. Right. It's getting tight, but we're gonna, we are going to reopen. We're not in a position that we are even considering having to close at this point. We will reopen. We feel like that it's gonna turn. The COVID-19 is gonna get a little bit better. We're gonna understand it better. They're gonna have more testing, more controls, a virus is coming forward. So we feel like by the time the real holiday movie season comes, we can be back into full operation. At that point, we know we're in pretty good shape and can have smooth sailing. Well, I hopefully, I hopefully that is the case. I really hope that it is. Me too. And I want to see that Tenet movie, the new Christopher oh, Nolan film. Believe me, we're looking forward to it. All right, sounds good. So we'll keep you posted with all things Nexus. Craig, make sure you keep us posted with all the I updates. I certainly will, Joe. Thank you so much. Great to see you. Yes, sir. Thank you. And since we taped that segment, Nexus did in fact have another update. This was posted uh, just over a day ago. Here's what it says. This is on their Facebook page. Quote, due to the recent increase in COVID-19 cases, the governor's new mandate, and the uncertain movie studio schedule, we have extended our reopening to some time in the near future. We encourage everyone to wear your masks and follow CDC guidelines so we can put this horrible virus behind us. We thank our loyal fans for your patience and understanding during these trying times and look forward to seeing you again. So. Again, a little bit of a delay here in terms of what's going to happen and when Nexus will open. We'll stay in touch with them and let you know of any updates moving forward. Can't wait to watch a movie again in the theaters. 